Well, quite honestly, getting into financial services just came about in a kind of an evolution type of way. I used to be in academics, was a, a business and math, uh, business math and accounting instructor, and um, and had worked with an accounting firm and owned a business before that, and and just saw it as a progression that it seemed like a coming together of all those different avenues in a way to serve clients in a way that was different than I was doing at the accounting firm, um, in a in a broader, more comprehensive way to be able to serve clients. Um, and so it was a transition for me at a certain stage in life where I felt like I could give back in a different way than I had before. Well, we just find that a right fit client for us is where we can add the most value. So sometimes when a, a prospective client comes to us and someone thinks that we might be able to do a, a great job with them in, in the financial services that we provide, we want to make sure that we're going to be able to add the most value for that client. For us, that tends to be a comprehensive plan. Uh, those that have maybe more complexities, some, some tax concerns, um, some retirement planning, some things that uh, take a lot of different levels and look at it from a comprehensive way. So we act as their wealth coach kind of in the center and work with their other professionals, their strategic partners, their attorney, their CPA, and just making sure that we're all going down that same path and that we're looking at it from the same perspective, working with the client um, and making sure they're getting where they're going. So a lot of times for us, a right fit client is one that has some more of those complexities where we're able to add a special value uh, for them to move them forward. We have an advisory board that's made up of clients. When we talk about why does a, a particular client stay with you, and our goal is always for our clients to be with us for years and years, and that we're able to serve them throughout the different stages of life. So our advisory board, which is made up of clients and people in the community, they they dictate to us in many ways how we're able to serve them best. They give us feedback on that, on how what their needs are and how we can best meet those needs. Um, so I think it's that's an ever-changing landscape that we're always aware uh, and continue to ask and make sure that we're well aware of what our clients' needs are and keep moving forward with those ever-changing needs. Well, it's exciting when we look forward and the different ways that we're able to, to serve clients in ways that we weren't just five or ten years ago. Part of the way we serve clients now has an awful lot to do with technology. We're able to be so much more efficient in the way we serve clients, so much more reactive to what they might need and then proactive in showing them different things on way, ways they can move forward. So a lot of times we'll do screen sharing with a client. A client will be in another state or in another city and we'll be able to work with that client in real time looking at the same things at the same time and be able to have a good conversation about where they need to go going forward. People are busier than ever. They're not able to uh, take a lot of time or as much time sometimes as it takes to really work on some of those financial goals. So we're using a lot of technology and other tools to help us to continue to evolve in the way we serve our clients.